When one is making a first trip into the Palouse country, it might be easy to ask out loud, where is everybody? Especially if you come from an urban region. Out here in the rolling wheatland, it's different. The air's sweet, you can hear the bird song, and the natural process includes all four seasons with gusto. A familiar voice, the pulpertudinous prose of the iconic former legendary voice of college football, Keith Jackson, immortalized here on campus. Maybe their most famous alum. And yeah, you can always believe in the Cougs. Keith would have told you that too. Against that backdrop of greatness, the home team, Washington State, taking on Wisconsin, ambitioning some greatness and transcendence today against the Badgers. On first and ten, gets it out quickly, complete to his favorite target, Lincoln Victor. Ward with a clean pocket, plenty of time. Throws it complete, and a first down to Watson with the catch and run they move the chains good poise under pressure Lewis by Ward they get it out to Allen out of the backfield makes the catch and he's brought down almost immediately at the 19 yard line by Jaden Hicks well it's Tanner Mordecai the transfer from SMU prior to that he was Oklahoma first year on campus in Madison has 73 touchdown passes. Hands it off to Allen going to his left. And he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage by Hicks. He's going to be a busy guy today, right? This secondary, you tell me, like to run. Yeah, they sure well. do. This is a defense that really likes to run to the football. And Jaden Hicks is a leader in that regard. Play clock all the way down at two. Ward over the top. Complete. First and goal to Kyle Williams. A dime drop by Ward. And just watch Kyle Williams. You see, he just gets the inside release. He gets Ricardo Hallman, and he just drops it in there on the nine route. Beautiful. Ward on the move. Surveys. One sprints. And brought down at about the three yard line. It'll be second and goal. We're going to mark it at the two. Ward out of the shotgun. Open. Touchdown, room service, Williams. Yeah. Kyle Williams on the other end of that fourth touchdown pass of the season. All the way down to the little card in his hand that he's calling the game off. How about that, huh? Great tribute to the late great coach. Malusi with nowhere to go this time, going to be brought down after a gain of a couple yards by Sam Lockett. Here's where things get interesting for Washington State. They've got a bunch of hybrid pass rushers, and this is the down that they live for, third and long. Trying to set up the screen, nobody home. Well read, and Mordecai run out of bounds at the 31. It's going to be fourth down coming up. All right, looking at second down and three for Cam Ward, who Lewis, you pointed out, looks very comfortable. The coach intimated the same thing. Delivers to the outside, wide open, caught by Jenkins for another first down. Look what Jake Dickert is talking about is when they're running three down. Look at it, one, two, three. Those are only guys that are rushing the passer, and then they're dropping eight. And if you don't get any pass rush against this quarterback, this is what happens to you. Victor throws it on the option. Caught Mathers at the one-yard line. Mathers makes it first and goal. A 39-yard gain. And the Badgers on their collective heels again. Ward gets rid of it. Touchdown. Pitch and catch. Victor. Touchdown will stand. Victor on the touchdown catch. Kyle Williams Lewis gave him a fantastic block. Ted Malusi can go 70 on you in a heartbeat. So you got to stick with your best players. They just got to execute better. Mordecai 
Little shuttle pass to Allen. He's going to be tackled at the 32 yard line by who else but the ubiquitous Ron Stone. He has literally been everywhere on the field seemingly so far. In first and 10. Mordecai gets it out complete to Allen. Two defenders there to meet him on the stop. Got back to the line of scrimmage. Thornton making the tackle on the play. Little blitz into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for C.J. Williams again. Working against Robinson again, and Robinson won that. It'll be fourth down coming up. This is nice one-on-one -on -one coverage by David Robinson. He may have been a little bit early. Jenkins in the backfield. Pressure coming off the edge. Wide open over the middle top by Victor. And a first down at the 22-yard line. Lincoln Victor, who had a big week last week. Mordecai hands it off again. This one to Malusi. Brought down after a gain of about two. That Cougar defense has bottled them up a little it, bit. It has. And I'll tell you, just right there on that little one-back power, Malusi was just the one defender away from maybe cracking that thing open. Nice job by Nusi Milani, the defensive tackle, of stopping him, though. Mordecai sacked, and there he is. Stone cold, Ron Stone, Jr., and a fumble. He put it on the ground. Cougar ball. There's Jackson. Stone was in on the hit. Stone and Jackson sounds like a law firm. I mean, you're going to see Ron Stone right here coming off the edge. You see him stab with that inside arm and then just get that inside shoulder down. The right arm comes down and tomahawks the football. Mordecai isn't able to hold on to it. Here's another look at it. Just look how low that inside shoulder is. And then you try and pin the arms of the quarterback to his body, make him hold, lose control of the football. <laughs> and there's his running mate, Brennan Jackson, saying thank you very much. Yeah, those two are inseparable. Fans nationwide want to know where's Washington State going to land. What can you tell them? Well, this is a huge week for us because we need clarity on these issues. Oh, pick six! And a touchdown! And a touchdown! Stone and Jackson, stone cold! Touchdown, Cougars! The two sixth-year seniors who return to the Palouse for another year teaming up in dynamic fashion for the touchdown. On second and ten, Braylon Allen still hasn't been able to break one loose. Picks up about three that time. Allen 6'2", 245. Brennan Jackson saying, I'm not having it. They're just building the wall. Third and seven. They set up the screen. Allen makes a catch, but he's brought down at about the 42-yard line, right near the line of scrimmage by Jaden Hicks. And there he is again. Man, he has been in on so many plays. I tell you, you know, I think in American culture, we've made Bears cute because of teddy bears. But, man, you're around them. They are undeniably ferocious. Mm. Like Big this Cougar defense. Athletic. <laughs> And uh, that was a little bit of an optical illusion. There was an electrical fence between oh. myself and the Bears. Braylon Allen in the backfield. It's not quarterback. Tanner Mordecai to his right. Takes the handoff. Hit immediately and falls forward to the line of scrimmage. Third and three. A pivotal one here to regain a little rhythm. Ward is going to run. And picked up the first down, brought down from behind, which ironically helped propel him forward a little bit. DK split wide to the bottom of your screen. Number 13. Now in motion. They run a little option. Lucy won't get in. Got a lot of company there. Of course, Brennan Jackson, the first one to arrive. And it remains a two-point Cougar lead. Okay. Downfield, broken up nicely in the secondary by Smith Wade. Allen in the backfield, takes the handoff into the boundary, puts his hat down, but met right there 
with resistance from Lockett. Mordecai had time, got him in! Incomplete at the 20, intended for Green. Got his hands on it as he's working against Cam Lamkin. And it's fourth down. Cougars get the stop they needed there. Oh, that thing's going to want this one back. It has zero blitz on, no safety in the middle of the field. Mm. Bryson Green had a great release. He got inside of Cam Lampkin, which is something as a defensive back you can't let him do. He just got to get that ball down, put it more on a rope, and that may be six. Your football team right now has flipped the momentum of this entire game. Now here they do. They have the ball in plus territory. Let's see what they do with it. On first and ten from midfield. Mordecai pulls it out, taking a shot downfield. Incomplete intended for DK. No flags on the play. Good coverage by Shaw Smith Wade. A revealing all access look at Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel, who opens up for the first time about his alcohol problem that almost cost him his NFL dreams. Up the middle on the carry, it's Malusi down to the 43. And the ball came loose. Or not. Seems to be some debate. Cougars say it's theirs. And it is. That you're going to see here when you see the replay. You're going to see Jaden Hicks is coming in right here. You see him pulling at the football. And maybe it starts coming loose before Malusi's left elbow hits the ground. But that's just a great job and great awareness on the part of Hicks to start pulling at that football while his, his boys are putting the hit on him. Hicks is that's, always around it, isn't he? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's close, but man. What great awareness on the part of the Washington State defense. Keep an eye on Lincoln Victor. He's the go-to receiver. Three receiver from Ancient. There's the catch. And a first down grab. Lincoln Victor. A little motion up front by that Wisconsin defense. Ward on the scramble. A little wizardry in the open field. Got a block and run out of bounds at the 24-yard line. That flag is going to go against Wisconsin. Ward is in the slot. Funky formation, the jet sweep, fake. The tier keeps it himself and picks up the first down. So offensive coordinator, Coach Arbuckle, with a little bit of sauce for that defense, Lewis. Sure, I mean, this is just <laughs> another wrinkle. He said, you know, look for number 10 to get in this game. I'll have something for you. Backpedaling, now stepping up. One man to beat. Ward down to the one yard line. Tackled by Zachman. And it's first and goal. 14-yard pickup. Up at the line of scrimmage. Watson in the backfield, takes the handoff. And the former Badger with the touchdown. Watch the left side of the offensive line here for Washington State. Just block down and just create a nice running lane for Nakia Watson to go ahead and punch it in. Mordecai 25 of 37. Incomplete big hit by who else? Jaden Hicks. He had smoke for the Badgers. Textbook play by Jaden Hicks. This is cover four, all right? This is what this is. He's going to read from... Weak side to front side, and that's what you're always taught. No work on your side. You're coming across the formation, and you're looking for number three coming across the field. Look at his vision right here. Perfect. And then he makes a beeline, puts a clean hit on it. That is textbook safety play. Mm. Textbook. Oh, yeah, he said he put him to sleep. One-on-one's on, on the outside. Blitz coming. Pass is incomplete. Hicks there again. He is all over the field tonight. Vinny Anthony, the intended receiver. Fourth and six coming up. A last gasp effort for Mordecai and the Badgers. Look, they just try to run a little rub route combination here. Watch him go over the top. 
and then get his hands on the ball. Man. This is a long, angular, rangy player who has cover skills, tackling ability, range in the back end, and he's still young. He's just a sophomore. Set the game clock to three minutes and 40 seconds. Three, four, zero. Had the big pick six last week. He's made some nice plays here tonight. And if you're Wisconsin right now, you're saying, Will Collin, come through for me one more time, baby. Come through for me. Tanner Mordecai, find the open guy. Mordecai gets it out. Got a man incomplete at the 10, intended for Green. And the Cougars will take over on downs. Lampkin there in coverage. And that secondary comes up with a huge stop. This, this is big time for him. You love those kind of stories. Third down and four. Another first down. Nakia Watson putting the final touches on this dub. You don't think they're <laughs> excited? He's not fired up. This game doesn't mean a little bit more to him. <laughs> That's cool to see. That's why you love sports right there. Yeah. All the things that Coach Dickert had to endure in 2020, a shortened season. The head coach let go the result of that. All the departures. And then others coming on board, and he's downstairs with Quinn. Look at that scene. They missed you with the Gatorade. They missed you. <laughs> what emotions are you dealing with right now? I'm just so proud of our team. They stood in there, and we could have quit, and it wasn't getting easy, and we got it out. And we pulled off a big win. What does this mean to Pullman? What does this mean for your team? And then, then this moment, it's everything. We belong in the Power Five. These kids have worked their ass off. I'm just so damn proud of them to, to double down in the moment. And we're all we got. We're all we need. How would you best describe the play of your quarterback, Cam Ward? I told you I was going to put it in his hands, and we did. He gutted it out. He made the plays. It wasn't perfect. I'm so proud of that kid because, man, we've been through it together, and to come out with a big win is huge. Thank you, Coach. Absolutely. Congratulations. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. And the words of the coach and the players and the staff, we're all, we're, we're all we got. We're all we need. That proved to be true tonight. They make it two in a row against the Badgers in the last two years, 31 to 22. That's the final score as they storm the field.